Hello friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So this is the lecture two of SPM unit one that is introduction to software project management. So in this video, we'll cover the contract management topic and this previous two topics were already covered in the previous video. The link of that video is given in the description as well as in the I button. You can check out that video. So we'll start with the today's point. So before moving to the contract management, we'll first understand what is meant by contract. So a contract is any agreement between two or more parties where one party agrees to provide certain deliveries or services and the other party agrees to pay for those deliveries or services. So for example, you can consider you want to construct one house and for that you'll pay money to the builder. And then the builder in return to that your money, it will construct the house. So it means what you are making an agreement that I want to construct a house. I'll pay you for that and you have to construct the house for me. So this is nothing but the mutual understanding between the two parties and the agreement. So this is what this definition is about contract. Now we'll understand how this contract takes place. So in our case, we'll consider about the software company or the soft uh, product based company, anything. So here the company will first release the offer. Okay. Company will provide some offer. You can say that the company is making an advertisement and in that they have mentioned that in, uh, in uh, this amount will provide this much features uh, or the product which will have this much features. So now if that offer is accepted by the customer, then it is called as contract or the second case can be the company gives the offer but the customer reacts too late or with changes so there it may happen that the customer wants more features or less features then it may negotiate with the company and if the company is accepting that changes or that new offer by the customer then it is called as contract so there are two scenarios first is offer by the company then it should be accepted by the customer then it is called as contract or second case is the new offer by the customer and if that offer is accepted by the company it is called as contract so basically the contract is nothing but the agreement between two parties okay now we'll see what is contract management so the contract management is a continuous process starting with analysis and evaluation of the customer's inquiry and carrying on until contract closure upon fulfillment of all contractual obligations. So now contract management is a continuous process and in that process it will analyze and evaluate the customer requirements. What actually the customer is needed, what features it wants to be in that particular product. Then we are carrying on uh, carrying this process until contract closure. Now contract closure is what where your particular product or the requirements are fulfilled and you are with your complete product. So that is nothing but the contract closure. So upon fulfillment of all contractual obligations. So whatever we have uh, the requirements of the customers, if we have fulfilled that, then the we can say that the particular project is completed and that particular process is called as contract management. So the contract management is a continuous process starting with analysis and evaluation of the customer's inquiry and carrying on until contract closure upon fulfillment of all contractual obligations. Now we'll see the contract management process. Because okay, so here it's contract spelling mistake is there. Then the first step is to analyze and evaluate project requirements. What actually the user is wanting from us or what are the requirements of the user? Then we have to analyze them and evaluate them. After that, we have to design that particular project. We have to uh, make a design. Then we can we have to negotiate, negotiate and analyze the contract. Then negotiation may include the project deadlines or time duration, then budget, okay, or any extra features. It may include. Then after that, we have to follow up execution of the contract and contract changes. So after negotiation and design phase, we have to follow up execution. So we have to start with the execution of the project or implementation of the project and if there are some changes then we have to include in that into our project accordingly. Now after execution we will follow up claim situations and claim settlements. 
Now it may happen that while developing the uh, project, uh, we we come to know that it will not be completed into a allotted time, or it will require more time, or uh, you can say that it will not be completed in, into the given budget. Then we can follow up claim situations. That means we'll will uh, tell this to the other party and regard and depending upon the rules and regulations of the claims and the contract it will uh, settle that claims claim settlements will be done and after that will close the contract so this is all about the contract management process first we'll analyze and evaluate the project requirements then we'll design and negotiate then we will start execution and implementation of the project and if any changes are there we'll include them into the project after that, we'll follow up claim situations and claim settlements, and then we'll finally close the contract. Now, the above process overview indicates that the contract management activities seems to belong to the responsibilities of the project manager and the whole project team. Obviously, any project which is undertaken, it is the responsibility of the project manager as well as the development team. Development team plays an important role because they actually has to write the code and implement the project. The project manager will be able to delegate many technical oriented decisions to the contractors. So this point will be more clear uh, with the next point that is for instance, the project manager will not be concerned about estimating the effort needed to write individual software component as long as the overall project is fulfilled within budget and on time. So the project manager will only distribute the task to a particular member or a team and uh, it will ask them to complete that particular task into the allotted time. It is not project manager will not be concerned about how they will be going to develop, how many time they will be required. Okay. So that is what the project manager will not be concerned about estimating the effort needed and it will do not worry about the uh, actual working of the project and all until the project is fulfilled within budget and on time so if it is not fulfilling within budget and on time then it has to follow the uh, claims follow the claims and then claim settlements will take place okay. so this is what about the contract management so in this video we have seen what is contract then what is the how the birth of contract takes place then what is contract management and the process of the contract management so the previous two topics I have covered in the lecture one video. So the link of that given in the description, you can watch that videos. So if you understand the concept, please like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel for more. Thanks for watching.